In this video today we are going to learn how you can get pregnant even if you have a PID. How to get pregnant even if you have a PID. Without further ado, we shall first of all define what a PID is. A PID simply means a pelvic inflammatory disease. Stay with me, we are going to talk about the tips of how you can get pregnant even if you have a PID after this message. Hello, welcome to our channel. I'm Gerard Massa, the health educator. On this channel, we talk about pregnancy related questions. We answer all your pregnancy related questions. We also do talk about conditions including fertility, infertility, endometriosis, endometritis, and also we do discuss issues regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome. Let me know if you have any questions and welcome for today's lesson. You are most welcome and stay with me today as we talk about today's topic. Welcome. Thank you for staying around. We are talking about the tips to get pregnant even if you have been confirmed to be having a pelvic inflammatory disease also known as a pelvic also known as a PID. First thing we need to understand is that to confirm that you have a PID, you first of all have to do some tests and specifically the tests we've listed here, the first important test is what we call the ultrasound scanning. You should first of all have an ultrasound scan. When you have had an ultrasound scan, images will be shown of your reproductive system. It will actually, the ultrasound scan will give us images showing that you have free fluid in the pouch of Douglas, also known as the recto urinary pouch. That is a small part of your uterine system which is the small part of your uterus that small space in between your uterus and your rectum it is known as the pouch of Douglas so when you have an ultrasound scan if you have done an ultrasound scan and the scan has shown that you have free fluid in that part also known as the pouch of Douglas then it can confirm to us that yes you have a PID but remember you can still go ahead and get pregnant but the only danger is that if you get pregnant and also you discover that you have a PID the chances of having a miscarriage are very very high so to confirm that you have a pelvic inflammatory disease have an ultrasound scan done an ultrasound scan, we've said that this is a type of investigation which actually involves images being taken of your reproductive system and of course confirmation can be done by showing or by confirming that you have free fluid in the pouch of Douglas. The next test you can do is you should have what we call a urine analysis test. A urine analysis test is a type of test where uh, a sample of your urine is taken, specifically a midstream urine. That is when you are urinating, you get a small sample of the midstream or a small sample of your urine. And this sample is tested in the laboratory and confirmation can always be given in correlation or in combination with an ultrasound scanning. And then we also recommend that you should have what we call a high vaginal swab test done to confirm that you have a PID. We are talking about the tests first of all before we go to the tips of how you can get pregnant even if you have a PID. So a high vaginal swab test simply they get a small swab your doctor will get a small swab and scrub just some small sample of your outer part of your vagina and specifically kind of go deep inside but not so high so they will get a small sample of some of the vaginal discharge or part of your discharge from the vagina but specifically this small sample will be taken to the lab laboratory whereby testing will be done so what we need to understand is this to get pregnant even though you've been confirmed that you have a PID, you have to do two things. The first thing is 
you first have to understand your menstrual cycle. When you understand your menstrual cycle, the cycle is divided into two. We have a follicular phase and then we have a luteal phase. From day zero of your periods or from the day you, you see your periods up to day 14th, that is also known as the follicular phase. Whereas on the 14th day itself is the ovulation day and from day 14th up to the next day when you see your periods, that is what we call a luteal phase. So you need to understand how your cycle is. You need to understand that your cycle may be for 28 days and after understanding your cycle, you go on and understand the days when you are most likely to ovulate or your danger days or your safe days. Understanding your cycle makes it very easy for you to get pregnant. The other thing is that you need to get treated at your doctor, at your at a nearby clinic, at a medical center. The most important thing is when you get treated, then you can easily get pregnant, even though you've been confirmed to be having a PID. What do we need to take home in today's lesson? The first thing is that you first of all have to confirm that you have a PID and confirmation is done by having an ultrasound scan done on you and then also have a urine analysis test done on you and then have a high vaginal swab test done. These tests will be requested by your doctor and also after you have done these theory key tests you need to understand your menstrual cycle and then get treated for the PID. The take home point for today is that you can get pregnant but you need to treat the PID or whatever infection has been confirmed but in this particular case you need to have the PID treated. Failure to treat the pelvic inflammatory disease may lead to scar tissue or adhesions forming all over your system and even this scar tissue can go on and form in your fallopian tubes. Lero tuba de togera ku nsonga ezaba chala engiri je basobola kubanga bafunamu embuto naye ne wabanga alina PID byotogedde ko bili nti PID kitegeza pelvic inflammatory disease PID kitegeza pelvic inflammatory disease omuchala asobolera dala okufuna olubuto ne byalina okukola bili nti aino kusoka na kola scan Scan jetogera koba jita pelvic ultrasound scanning. Obas, the scan we are talking about is what we call the pelvic ultrasound scan. And then also you need to have, oba, I know kola chebaita urine analysis test. And then I know kola nechebaita high vaginal swab test. So omuchala aliorubuto ngabade wa aliorubuto obanga ya karufuna obanga abade ya karufuna ni mbamu confirmi nganti ya ndibanga ino vuzivu, ino kola chebaita ultrasound scanning obaka TV. I know kola test yomu sulo ibajita urine analysis test. I know kubanga akola chabaita high vaginal swab test. And then chonechi wabazude I know kubanga aja njabibwa at the doctor's office over at the clinical hospital. And then nechirala wabanga wadita li rubuto. Nga yagala kufuna rubuto. Asovulo kusoka na akola chabaita understanding her menstrual cycle was well, nokubanga otegera cycle yo oba periods of tambula zitia then from there also bolo kufuna rubuto thank you for staying with me uh, in this today's video remember to hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share this video with your friend so that they get to know about women's health Gerard Massa the health educator is the name of the channel have yourself a fantastic and healthy day Bye-bye.